Okay, so finally OnePlus 8 series started to get June security patch, which is based on Oxygen OS 13.1. This was the only series which was left with May security patch, but finally OnePlus have started rolling out a new update. We'll talk everything about this update in this video. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my OnePlus 8 on which I've already updated the device. I received the OTA update yesterday. You can see here, now it's version 13.1.0.581. And this 5.8 version is for OnePlus 8, 8 Pro and OnePlus 9R. For OnePlus 8T, the version is 5.8.0. If I show you the screenshot here, you can see the update size is around 1.08 GB on my OnePlus 8. And this update brings the new feature which is called multi-screen connect. We'll talk about it in the later part of the video. And as per the OnePlus community, this update was rolled on 3rd July, but I received it yesterday on my OnePlus 8. And there are still users who haven't received it yet. And now the latest build of Oxygen OS 13.1 comes with 5th July 2023 security patch. And as always, now let's talk about the benchmark results. So here we have the results from previous build in which single core had scored 1190 and multi core scores were 3295. If we compare it with the latest build, here you can see single core scores are slightly higher which is 1204 and little bit of improvements can also be seen in the multi core scores. After that when we talk about CPU throttling, so here are the results on the previous build, maximum CPU throttled up to 77% but on this latest build, maximum cpu throttled only 68 percent and guys now before moving ahead if you guys like our content then make sure to smash that like button and also make sure to subscribe to our channel that will help us to motivate bring quality content and guys remember one thing oneplus 8 series is the only one which is affected a lot by those green lines and those pink lines i mean to say different color lines i always update my device soon when the update is released i never faced any kind of issues with my devices but for you guys we have made a dedicated video before updating your device make sure to watch that entire video because once you get the green line and if your device have some kind of dents on the body then they won't replace it for free of cost. So that's the reason I'm saying watch the video which is being displayed on the screen before updating your device. Now, first of all, let me show you the change log. So there is nothing much mentioned in the change logs. If you go to about section here about the version, you can say it says integrated June security patch and later they improved the stability and expands the compatibility of NFC. But after this update, I did notice few issues here and there. One of them is led to the screen of animation. So I did notice little bit of jitters while unlocking the device during my usage and some of them are temporary issues which I encountered after updating the device. One of them is this jittery animation while turning off the screen. And the second issue was layer to auto brightness. And this issue I have also seen on the previous builds of Oxygen OS 13.1, especially on my OnePlus 8. Sometimes if I go outdoor also, the screen brightness remains at pretty low level, then I have to manually slide the slider to make the adjustment. I have also mentioned this in my previous video. Today I wasn't able to record the video because as I said some of them are temporary bugs and once you restart your device those things get fixed. So this was the second issue and the third issue is layer to dialer. So here I received a call and I had to dial a number while I was on the call but that time the keypad did not pop up. I tried everything. It got fixed after clearing the data of dialer application. So if you guys also face any issue related to keypad not popping up, then make sure to long press on the APK, go to app info and from here clear the data. Once you do that, that will be fixed. I also tested out after that I did not notice any issue. And still we get to see the stutters while recording 4K video at 60 FPS. That happened initially when I did recording, I mean to say the first video, but after that again I tested out the second video in that I did not face any kind of issues. So this issue have been there since a long time and OnePlus haven't fixed it yet. And I've also seen people asking about the special audio feature. So guys, special audio feature, I think it won't make it to OnePlus 8 series or OnePlus 9 series. It's only exclusive for OnePlus 10 or higher variants. So here with this update also, you won't see special audio feature on your device. Now let's talk about the main feature which they have added called multi-screen connect. That can be found in the connection and sharing. Towards the bottom side here, you can see 
we have a feature called multi screen connect for this i have made a dedicated video how it works what all features you get to see with multi screen connect so make sure to watch the video which is being displayed on the screen but this multi screen connect lacks one feature which you will find it on oneplus 10 series and oneplus 11 series so if i go to multi screen connect this is my oneplus 11 and here you'll see a new feature called communication sharing so this is again a very useful feature where you can share your data messages and calling services if you have purchased oneplus pad because oneplus pad doesn't come with the lte support but you guys can still enjoy 5g services like you can make or receive calls on your oneplus pad if you have this feature on your oneplus smartphone right now it is not added on oneplus 8 series let's hope in future they do add because not everyone upgrade their device so soon so if people who are having oneplus 8 series and they plan to buy or they bought oneplus pad it can be a very helpful feature if you guys want to check out the video of that i'll leave that video in the description below you guys can watch how does this 5g connectivity and other services work with multi-screen connect so guys this was all about this latest update for oneplus 8 series if you guys still have any kind of questions i'll be soon coming up with the in-depth review so as said if you have any kind of questions do let me know in the comment section below i'll cover them in the review video you guys know as always we cover camera segment battery and other stuff in our in-depth review videos so that video will be dropping pretty soon stay tuned for that as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys gonna like the video if you like the video then do give us a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day